Hello everyone, this is Amit Da. Today I'll show you how to find and edit keyboard shortcuts in DaVinci Resolve or how to customize keyboard or how to assign keyboard to specific tasks in DaVinci Resolve. So the first thing you're going to do once you open DaVinci Resolve, if you take a look on the upper left corner, so here you'll see DaVinci Resolve and if you click here, then you're going to see an option keyboard customization. So if you click here, then you're going to see a separate screen, uh, screen pop up. Now this screen looks complicated and it can be, but the objective of this video is to keep everything simple and nice. So I'm just going to go through uh, the simple way how to you know do the customization. So here, if you take a look on the left, you will see active key box. Uh, what it, it does that if you want to know if a keyboard already assigned to something, you have to kind of select it. So let's say if we select A, then you can see that A is showing here under application to normal edit mode and under fusion page for alpha and ch uh, channel comments. So that means that, you know, it's going to show any keyboard what's been already assigned. So just deselect it and select something else, G. And you can see that, you know, it's telling you what uh, the key is doing, uh, G for, as a shortcut. And if something is like not kind of like, you know, great, or lighted, then you can just click it. That means it's not taken. It's still empty. So you're just going to deselect it. Uh, now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to assign um, a redo button to Control Y. So what happens? Uh, the Avenue result uh, by default has undo button as Control Z or Control Z, but the redo button is Control Shift and Z, which I do not like, and I would like to change it to Control Y. So whenever you're changing something, the first thing here, if you click here on the upper right corner, this link the arrow, then you can see that there are different type of keyboard mapping here, and always like you know create your own keyboard mapping. That way it doesn't like you know mess up the other mapping. Like you know this is the uh, default uh, Daffinji result. So for my task, I created my own keyboard uh, shortcut uh, mapping, which is my Daffinji result keyboard mapping. And each time I change something, this is what I'm going to be changing. And that way I don't mess up with the original DaVinci Resolve keyboard uh, mapping, which is right here. So I wouldn't touch that. So make sure that you know, you're know you saving under a different profile, not the original profile. Now, in order to find uh, redo or undo, let's start with undo first. So if I search here undo and make sure that you have selected show all, then here you can see that, you know, under edit section, the undo is control Z, which I just mentioned. And there's another sign here, which can be, can do undo, but I don't use that. Uh, so I'll just leave this here. Now I'm going to search for redo. So let's see redo. And you can see that right now redo is control shift Z and there's the control Y. So if you, if I want to assign control Y, so I'm going to have to click right here where the plus is. So just click right here and I'm going to press on my keyboard control and Y. Okay. So, uh, let me see. Actually, I think I just pressed Y. Just give me a second. I have to kind of cancel and redo it just to make sure I'm pressing the right thing. So control Y. Now say the control Y and here, if when I'm entering control Y, then if I hit save, then that should do the job. And now I can redo just pressing control Y. Now, before I move to another section, I'd just like to show you something else. So let's say if you want to assign a keyboard uh, or, and you see like you know, a warning sign, for example, let me just X this one. And let's say if I'm putting in Y here, and you see that it's giving you an error message. So what it means that this key is already assigned to something else and you cannot assign this, what you're trying to assign. So if you see that message, uh, that in that case, what you have to do, you have to just like, you know, press that key. Let's say you're trying to uh, assign just Y and here you're going to see all the like you know task y is assigned to and you have to just like you know kind of like you know click here and then here you have to just like you know delete that key if you don't need that 
and then you can reassign it. So I just wanted to show you, but let's go back to our task. So we are doing redo, which is redo. And we're going to assign control Y and we're going to hit save. Okay, so now it should save control Y as redo. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to close this button and let's see if this works. So this clip right here, I selected, I'm going to delete that. And if I want to undo that, then I'm going to just hit control Z on keyboard. And if I want to like, you know, undo the redo or reverse the redo, then I should be able to do just pressing control Y, which is going to be right here. So you can see that it's working. So this way you can assign any keyboard or anything, um, or you can customize your keyboard and edit and find keyboard uh, shortcuts on DaVinci Resolve. For the next tips and tricks video, I'm going to put a link on the screen and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.